So the covenant was taken in Wadi Arafat, just before you get to Arafat. And also, we know that on that day we heard God's eternal speech, Alastu bi Rabbikum. And I'm saying that in Arabic, it's revealed in Arabic, but you didn't hear it that way. You heard it as uncreated divine speech, which, if you know the theology or recall it, means it connected you to the infinite knowledge of God. Because God's speech is connected to everything His knowledge is connected to. And what is more beautiful than hearing God speak? So you heard that. And everything you think is beautiful, whether it's a piece of jewelry, whether it's the playing of a flute, whether it's the song of a bird, that's because it reminds you deep down of Alastu Biropiko. It reminds you of that. <clears throat> but we learn from the Hadith that you didn't just hear God, you saw Him one-on-one, -on -one, directly. Ayanan aw qibalan, as the Hadith says. So you also saw God on that day, as you will in the garden. And that's one of the greatest rewards of the garden is to see God. <inaudible> Faces on that day will be brilliant with light, radiant, looking at their Lord, gazing upon their Lord. How do you do that when he's not a body and he's not limited in time and space? And our theologians talk about that. They say, you know, it's bila kaif, it's without any how. And they say that it's like fena. They don't say that in theology, but that's what we say. They say that if you were asked your name, you wouldn't know what it is. You see him with the entirety of your being. And when you come back like baqa, you are filled with a richness that you never had before. And then you'll have it again. And then you'll have it again. Okay, but you had that also on the primordial day. You saw your Lord. So it's the most beautiful thing you ever saw. And this is stamped on your DNA.